free, <laughs> it's for free. No, it's not. Everything is a price. Okay. Hi guys and welcome to Orleans Rendezvous. Today I am at the Klein Carp Short Film Festival hosted in partnership with Klein Carp Boutique Hotel, Twin Hearts and Springbok Entertainment. Screening narrative documentary and animated short films, this festival is the first of its kind in Pretoria. With Q&A sessions by industry professionals, good food and binge film watching, Klein Carp is creating big expectations. When you watch drama or, or a sad film, which tissue brand do you prefer using? Kleenex. <laughs> Mr. Andre Feltz, would you say you like the outdoors, like Boss Feltz, because your surname is Feltz? Yeah. For sure, I, uh, I grew up in Nizen, so getting the Boss. Oh, nice. And I've said. What would you say was your vision for this festival? Vision-wise, it was actually just wanted to be small, you know, and give people a chance to um, to expose their work and show it to different people. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and now it's kind of just growing. So hopefully next year it will be big, you know, bigger with great sponsors, and um, mm -hmm. yeah, we're very excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. What is amazing about this film festival? There's thousands of movies that you can come watch, and literally the movies vary from like. Two minutes to 30 minutes mm -hmm. so you can watch some movies you can have a break and eat something you can listen to the speakers so this is actually a great thing for everyone the whole family mm -hmm. um, and who doesn't want to watch a movie like the whole day and what do you think we as the public can do to help you get it to a standard of like a Cannes film festival yeah, just come and support I think I think that's the most important the more yeah. you support the bigger it grows the better it gets from an actor's perspective, why do you think people or other actors should get involved in a festival like today? Um, well, I think it's good because we don't have many festivals in South Africa. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be great if we supported each other so that we can Support. have international films feel like this is important enough to submit to these kind of festivals yeah, yeah, because yeah. we always feel like oh we need to be in some international mm -hmm. festival to feel like oh, oh something <laughs> did well you know <laughs> yeah. but the fact that it's in this festival counts for something so mm -hmm. if we support each other things will get better so yeah i actually had this conversation recently i feel like we we really w trying to sell south african stories but because there's a formula in some other place other than Africa that yeah. works. Yeah. We want to put our South African story on that formula. Mm -hmm. But if we just did our f South African stories on our own formula, like Tzotzi hashtag, mm -hmm. would do great. Yeah. You know? So I'll always refer to that movie because it did great because it didn't follow any formula. Yeah. It was just a pure South African story. Yeah. And um, a lot of times when people say South African story, they tend to think um, like black story mm -hmm. but what's your story mm -hmm. you know like what's there's so many so stories many. you know it's like such, because such there's so many country. exactly mm -hmm. so oh I wish I could write because then continue. I yeah I would <laughs> write my own stuff <laughs> um, can you please tell us more about what you are speaking about today and where your love first started um, I'm just going to chat about directing and I think the most important thing about directing is um, there's so many facets about directing but uh, when it comes to actor-director um, the main important thing to talk about is human behavior because that's what we are actually translating over screen is how do humans be, uh, behave and how, what makes them tick and from there you can learn stories and and life lessons and all of that stuff so and my, my life started for it um, while I was doing acting uh, I actually didn't know I wanted to be a director Wow! and then I took a small camera and I recorded my acting skills and tried to see what I did wrong and, and then I started giving class to, to actors and then all of a sudden I, I loved it mm. and then I started with a one minute and a two minute videos and now the rest is history. <laughs> yeah. Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> You've directed a couple of feature films. What challenges do short films have in comparison to full length feature films? Um, I think it will be, I think you cannot tell that the one is more difficult than the other one. Okay. Because 
Obviously, if I do a full feature, anything between five and seven million rand, I've got responsibilities between the producers. That is probably the most pressure you've got from a full feature, mm. and that other people outside immediately judge you mm. because. Uh, there's a lot of people that write in newspapers about it and all that stuff, but short movies, I think you can experiment more. You can be more free and, you know, you can do whatever you want to do because this is the platform to make mistakes. Mm -hmm. This is the platform to express yourself because once you're out there, it is, you stand in front of the cinema and there is 15 movies, 14 of those is American and you need to compete with those people who's got mm -hmm. millions and millions of dollars of budget. Mm -hmm. So. I, I r rather prefer the short, uh, the sh the short uh, version of it because there's no pressure in that. Unless you borrow money from your mom like I did, then you've got yeah. more pressure than <laughs> the producer. <laughs> you've been involved with um, soaps, writing, directing, producing. Which one is the most rewarding? You know, that's so interesting because when I was younger, all I wanted to do was act. I didn't really, I didn't really have any interest whatsoever in any other of the skills. Oh, Nothing. Wow. And then as I started training or started doing casting, I started getting more involved in writing. And then I started getting involved in coaching um, because as a casting director you need to sometimes um, audition someone and coach them to see whether they take direction. Mm. So I started, you know, moving towards training and I started moving towards writing. And I actually, at this moment, enjoy directing the most. Oh, so okay. I direct a lot of plays. I direct a lot of films. Um, and, and I really actually, if I could, I would just do that. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're at the Klein Kopf Short yes. Film Festival, kind of celebrating films and people's yes. talents and everything going with the business. Do you think we celebrate films enough in South Africa? Not enough, no, because I think that the industry itself is bigger than what South Africa actually realizes. Yeah. I think that in a way, the, the thing that really actually still stilts us is that we still only look at it as an art form and we're not looking at it as a business mm -hmm. and we're not looking at it as an industry that is a global industry. Did you ever think you would watch films the whole day without your mother shouting at you? No, never, ever, never. ever. But then I'd always dream big, so. Oh, girls can dream. <laughs> <laughs> and what would you say is next for you as an actress in your career? I am currently doing intense marketing for Yo Romeo, which is a film coming out in December. Hashtag Lupis Leggings Lifter. Yes, Moldra G. G. Um, so that's very exciting. I'm really, really excited about that. It's a beautiful film. It was a lot of fun to make. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm currently working on Vasilinki, which is a film coming out next year. And I'm really, it's a beautiful. I can't wait. From an actor's perspective, why would you say should actors, you guys, at home be involved in short films? Because you learn about your craft. You, um, it's not something that you can just get on, go on set and know what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, because it's so technical, there's so much to learn. Um, and you learn all the time. As a director you learn, as an actor, uh, lighting, everything, sound. There's so many elements to learn. So, um, I have a project called Hey You, where, which is just a, a Hey You. It's just a bunch of actors who get around to try and make work. Um, and we made a short film recently called Legal Alien with a thousand rand. So you can do wow. it. Um, yeah, and and we I used my camera and then we hired lighting equipment. So it can be done. Mm. And I found that when you don't have the finance, you become more creative to try and mm -mm -mm. make things happen. Make it work. Make it work. <laughs> oh, well, today um, I was talking about screenwriting, just sort of in general, like a. Yeah, the three-act structure specifically and um, and for those who want to get into screenwriting for either television or, 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 or film. Mm -hmm. um, my love for writing started I actually from a very, very young age. I oh, realized okay. when I started writing about 15 years ago that I always loved writing as a child and I loved writing Opstale. You remember the good old-fashioned Opstale? Yes. Let's write an essay. <laughs> Everybody was going, oh no! And I was going, yeah! From there, mm -hmm. actually, yeah. And which 
film genre is your favorite would you say and why I think I'm, I'm, uh, I'm more inclined to to go for drama writing mm -hmm. um, specifically uh, human stories right mm -hmm. um, I'm not I'm hoping to go more into thrillers and that kind of stuff but and also comedy I, I do like comedy I'm afraid of comedy because it's um, <laughs> yes. it's really a tough uh, genre to crack and um, you know they say it's 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 more difficult to make a lot of people laugh than to make people cry true that's mm. very true so so I'd say that's kind of like more my tendency is to go for dr dramatic life you said you have a favorite film genre like comedy drama action wow it's difficult um, I love film, that's it. Yeah. All of it. All of, All of it. it. Every basically. genre. <laughs> yeah, except bad humor. I hate bad humor. Yeah. No, don't, don't do. Yeah. Don't do bad humor. <laughs> <laughs> don't not be funny. <laughs> exactly. What is next for you in your career as an actor? Um, well, I'm currently in prep for a film called Simbamba. It's an international horror release, and um, the prep's quite hectic. I had to yeah. shave off my hair, yeah. and um, yeah. we're shooting uh, in two months' time, and um, my body also go undergoing an, a transformation um, mm. together with USN and training me and putting me through the regimes. So, yeah, it's hectic but fun. Well, guys, there you have it for today's episode. I would like to especially thank the organizers, Reine, Marie and Kerry, for the opportunity today. And if there's anything I learned, it is to keep creating and keep using platforms like today to showcase your work. Also, remember that all big things start claim. Okay, cool. Um, do that. Well, fine. I'll do that.